Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. What used to be a lightweight desktop application, I'm talking about viewing and markup here, is quickly moving to mobile devices, it seems. One of the latest software to appear is CatFaster. It's a plug-in for Autodesk Revit, an architectural modeling software, Bentley MicroStation, and SolidWorks. Now, Going beyond simply opening a lightweight 3D model, viewing it, and scribbling notes on it, CatFaster developer seems to have worked out a workflow that takes into account what you do on your desktop machine as well as on your mobile device. Kind of like how Amazon Kindle apps synchronize your mockups and highlights on a book, whether you're reading the same thing on the iPhone, iPad, Kindle device, or a PC. Something else unique to CatFaster. You can launch and host a co-viewing session, meaning two people looking at the same file and discussing it online together. Let's have a look. What I have here is SolidWorks 2012, with the plugin CatFaster already installed. The plugin allows me to export an executable file. It works as a lightweight 3D model with an embedded viewer. Or I can also upload the lightweight model to the cloud, viewable with the Cat Faster iPad app. I also have the option to do both, create an executable file and upload a model to the cloud. The executable file that you can see here, I'm launching it, gives you the ability to view the model in multiple viewpoints, in split-screen view if you like, and you can also toggle transparency, hidden view, and normal views. With an executable file, you can use a virtual tape measure to check out the distances between components. You can also, of course, view your model in different cross-sections. Now, if you add a comment here, eventually when you launch the iPad app to look at this very same model, you'll see the comment picked up by the iPad app. This is, of course, especially a useful feature if you're co-viewing the same model, discussing the same model with someone else while looking at it at the same time online, something you can do with CatFaster. Now, when you switch over to the iPad app and access the same model that is hosted in the cloud, you'll find that the new comments you added are showing up. You'll also see that, like the executable file, the iPad app allows you to set transparency, hidden view, and normal views of that model. And also, similar to the executable file, you can initiate a co-viewing session or participate in a co-viewing session. CatFaster folks have found out that with some virus programs that may be a bit overprotective, people might have hiccups with the executable file, so they are considering a thin client for desktop viewing instead of the executable file. I think it's a good idea. The iPad app for CatFaster works quite well, but the first release has some awkwardness in its interface, I must say. For example, it doesn't automatically reorient from vertical to horizontal when you shift the device. And in my personal view, showing comments all under the same tab may be sufficient when you're looking at only a few models. But if you're participating in multiple discussion threads with different models, this could become a challenge to keep track. That's something I believe CatFaster developers should take a look at for possible improvement. If you're interested in CatFaster, you can go download the trial version and give it a go. Afterwards, let me know what you think of it. I'm curious to know. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong reporting from a co-viewing session of Cat Faster on his iPad.